Hello everyone, my name is Gaming Gamma. Today I want to talk a little bit about a thing called banding. First off, what is it? Secondly, what causes it? And thirdly, how do we fix it? So banding is when there's a visible line or a hard change in shades of color. This happens when a gradient is visible. The easiest way to see a natural gradient is when we have footage of a sky. Skies naturally, they're brighter the closer you get to the sun or to light, and then they get darker the further away you go. This gives us our natural gradient. Skies aren't one solid blue color, they slowly fade between shades of blue. Here we have some drone footage of some mountains with a sky in the background. This footage is pretty bad. There's no denying that, so it's perfect for this video. There's an obvious banding problem in the sky you can see here with visible lines and noise. It looks pretty bad. In a perfect world, we would never experience this, but the industry is far from perfect, and this type of stuff happens more frequently than I'd like to admit. So number two, what causes it? Banding is caused when the amount of colors that can be displayed is too far above the amount of colors available in the footage. The biggest cause of footage looking like this is when someone makes proxies of the original footage or they transcode into a lossy codec. Compression is the culprit. Since you're watching this on YouTube, you will undoubtedly see an inaccurate representation of what I'm seeing as of the making of this video, so you'll have to take my word for it. YouTube compression is pretty bad and there's no way to get around it, unfortunately. So number three, how do we fix it? The first and easiest thing to do when you're in this situation is to ask to receive the original footage straight out of the camera instead of the proxy or the transcoded footage. 99% of the time, the banding is not present in the original footage. If by some reason the original footage can't be delivered and you're stuck working with this, then hopefully I can show you a couple of things that can help reduce the banding. This is by no means a 100% fix, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so let's take a look at our footage here. We have the mountains and the blue sky. Now, it's pretty bad looking, like I said. Uh, and you can see up here in the sky, if I zoom in, kind of all that noise and grain and crap that's in there. You can really see the banding here if we do a couple adjustments. So, if I just take this here and increase the contrast quite a bit, and then I go over here and take our offset and bring that down. There they are. Now we can see all those lines. They are pretty gross, pretty disgusting looking lines throughout all of our footage. Well, anyway, we're going to see what we can do about that. And see if we can make it a little bit uh, less gross. So, let me go over here and reset this node. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to qualify out the sky. We're going to select that, the shades of blue, so that we're, we're not working with anything that is not the sky. So we can click in there with our qualifier and add some more of these shades of blue in here. Make sure that we capture more of it. Make sure that the mountains are not, not a part of it at all, because that's not what we're dealing with in this video. We can widen our area here and get more of the sky that looks pretty good okay so davinci resolve actually has this very cool effects that's called d-band now this does not fix everything not by any means it's not a one-click fix but it does do a pretty good job, so we're going to drop that in here on the sky that we've qualified. And you can see it already looks a little bit better. It looks like it has done its job sort of the best that it can. Now, we can click this little box here to display our lines. We can see very sharp lines here, and we can increase the radius a little bit and increase the threshold. And then there we go. That looks pretty good. Now you can see this global blend. If I slide it all the way to the left, it removes. And all the way to the right, it reapplies. So you can adjust that to your liking. 
Okay, one more thing that I want to do is go over here to the Blur tab. Now make sure that you are on Blur and not on Mist or anything else. And we can just turn the blur up a tiny bit. Not much, but just enough. And what that does is it sort of blurs any other lines that we have between uh, different shades of blue and different gradients in there. Now, this is looking much better than it did before. Hands down, way better than it did before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this as well as the original footage here. And we're going to get a comparison side by side. Now, the original footage is a million times better just straight out of the gate. As I said before, you always want to work with the original footage. But in our case, we weren't given the original footage, so we had to work with what we had. But here you can see a side by side of the original on the left and the compressed proxy on the right. Now that sky is cleaned up pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. Here's the before, and here's after. I hope this video was able to teach you a little bit more about what banding is and how to fix it. When working with color, always try to use the original footage. Always, 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 because starting with the best image possible will only make it better in the end. Starting with bad footage will only make it bad. I'll see you in the next video.